Hello friends, uh, today we are going to discuss about a very exciting topic, which is how to declutter your mind. And uh, so there are some uh, proven scientific uh, ways whereby, uh, you know, anyone can declutter uh, one's brain. Let's talk about it. Let's try to understand these tools and the processes which can help us to declutter so that you can have a clarity of thought process. Okay, so um, let me just share the screen, then we will get uh, right into it. Okay, so decluttering your mind to have an absolute clarity of your thought process, your vision, what, what you want to, to do, you can get it done. So how can we do um, that. So let's talk about the processes because most of us living the way we live, you know, um, with uh, so much of distractions around so many things we have to do um, in a specific day at a specific point of time. Um, and, uh, you know, that that leads us to a state of mind where uh, you know everything is cluttered and so cluttering is based on the activities uh, you know what what we have to do or what we are engaged in or our brain is engaged in but also this cluttering also happens um, when we uh, you know we have a multiple thoughts coming to the mind and hesitating our, you know, our mind. And uh, that is the reason why we are not able to decide or we lose the, the clarity of our thoughts. Okay, so let's talk about, um, you know, the clutter or, you know, how, what is clutter? Okay, now we have a physical cluttering and we have mental cluttering, okay. So physical cluttering is, as you can see in this um, uh, picture here, this is a real clutter. That means it's some messed up, okay? So we must have seen, uh, you know, at uh, if you are at your home in a kitchen or any wardrobe or a cupboard is uh, cluttered, you don't like it, but you may see that's a lot of things are cluttered up. And if you have a, a thoughts in your, uh, you, you have a thought in your mind that, okay, I have to clear the clutter, but simply we just don't do it, okay? So cluttering could be everywhere. So especially when your guests, uh, some some of your guests are coming home, then what do you do that? So you just try to, you know, sort things out and just uh, push uh, things around and, uh, you know, shove it under, you know, um, under uh, the cupboard or under the sofa or under the carpet. So what you do is you try to clear the clutter because you are not comfortable, um, you know, with the clutter around. So what it does is, you know, it also clutters the mind as well. The physical, physical cluttering also clutters the, the mind. So that is about the physical. Then let's discuss about the mental cluttering. Okay. Now, Mental cluttering is when you have so many thoughts, you know, so many thoughts around, you don't have a clarity of what exactly you are going to do. And, uh, you know, when your mind is so exhausted with so many thoughts, uh, you know, you feel tired as well. So that is called mental cluttering. So physical and mental, they are all has to be, um, you know, has to be organized and, uh, you know, such a way that, you know, it's an absolute clear organized uh, pattern in your physical life and your mental life okay now physical cluttering it's just a decision okay how do you clear everything together it's just a decision but why don't we why don't you do it it's physical cluttering if you want to you know get things organized first is uh, you have to decide that yes i have to do it because a lot of time we postpone things okay i will do it okay and it's not a lot, but uh, you know, almost all the time we don't do certain things because that is not a priority. It may not be the priority for you at that point of time. And you do not set yourself a date and time to do that. But the second thing of uh, you know physical uh, you know cluttering is when you are you wanted to clean it, um, but 
you do not know how, so that means your mind hasn't, because everything before it happens physically, it happens in your mind. So your mind has never uh, thought about it, may, may never thought it through that how the decluttering will uh, work out or how the decluttering will, you know, will see, you know, or how you, after decluttered, how will it going to look like, then, you know, you will not take actions. So that means it has to happen mentally first before it happens physically, okay? So that is where you have to, uh, or the mind has to be clear on that. So that means you just, how, how do you do it? There's a mentally just visualize yourself, uh, you know, just closing your eyes and visualize yourself. Everything uh, is uh, decluttered, everything is clean and clear. And how does it look, okay? And then you understand, okay, everything is clear. means how does that look like? So now at this, at the same cupboard, okay, after it's decluttered, how does it look like, okay? What are the things are uh, they are now? And, uh, you know, how does, uh, how does it uh, give you a feeling of, okay? So you just have to realize and uh, see the things into existence, okay, in your mental eyes before you see physically it happens, okay? So that is physical cluttering. That's a really, really a quick, good one tool or a tip. Okay, the second thing is a mental cluttering. Okay, how do you clear your mental clutter? So mental clutter to clear it, it, um, it is uh, uh, again, um, uh, the process is not as straightforward as we discussed about the physical cluttering. It is straightforward, but the process is a bit different, I would say, okay. So there are three steps process of decluttering your mind. First is you stop adding clutter and more okay stop adding adding any more clutter into your um, brain into your mind okay so what does that mean so that means uh, you know when you are trying to clean up something okay so, uh, to organize something if somebody else just keeps coming and uh, cluttering it and uh, you know putting garbage uh, more garbage if you want to clean certain things then that clean up exercise will not work as you all know so that means you have to stop someone okay to um, add more garbage, okay, more trash, okay, into, into your space, okay, exactly the same way when you are trying to that, uh, you know, declutter your mind, it's very, very important that you stop adding, okay, the clutter because since nobody else but you, it's, it's me who allow, you know, the outside world to clutter our mind, okay, you can't, you can't blame anyone else but uh, ourselves. So then, so how do you, uh, so the first thing is to stop adding. So that means when you are starting your cleanup exercise, make sure that no one else is, or it's, it's, it's all the time, it's you who is not adding more clutter. Second thing is identifying your clutters, okay? Identify, that means, uh, you know, you must be thinking that, okay, uh, okay, um, you know, I want to clear up my mind. I want to have a clear vision and a focus and, uh, you know, um, and I want to understand the clarity of thought process I need to have, but that is very generic. So you have to identify then if you want to do, have that, that is a process of breaking it down to identify the, the clutter. So the things what, uh, you know, is um, the stopping you to have that clear vision, the focus, okay. And then the last thing is, uh, you know, once you identify, then you organize and you start to declutter. So that means in layman's term, you're identifying where, what exactly and where exactly needs to be cleaned. And uh, then, so you are stopping the uh, surface to be, uh, you know, uh, to be trashed over again. So that means you are stopping anyone to put more, more uh, trash on. And the second thing is, okay, identifying, okay, this is where exactly I want to, uh, you know, clear up this is where you know i want to make sure that it's all all cleaned up and uh, after uh, you know uh, identifying that then you just start the process of decluttering so let's talk about stop adding clutter what does that mean so that means uh, deliberately we ourselves okay uh, you know um, you know with the social media okay and uh, you have a uh, phone in hand you are very prone, okay? And uh, you have more than 90% chance of just going and scrolling and browsing through your 
um, to your social media post or to your uh, going through your mobile phone. Okay, so that is the the fundamental source of a lot of clutter. Okay, before probably the social media came in, uh, people were hooked onto newspaper or you know news articles. Okay, now with social media, you just look at what other people are doing and what is this sport and that sport. So your mind, what happens in this process? is uh, see the way our mind works is not a rocket science the way it works is when you are reading and looking at something it creates everything creates a mental pattern mental it creates a thought in your mind so that means when you are reading at uh, you know an article okay which um, most of the time as a matter of fact uh, you know if you are looking through the news article they are all uh, you know negatives so when you are going through the negative article, then what happens here is you feel hesitated and your, um, your thought becomes negative as well. So you have to make sure that you stop adding clutter to your brain. You have to protect your brain. Okay, how do you do that? Is just staying away from and identify when you have the urge to check your mobile phone and you don't identify that, okay? Acknowledge that and you don't do it, okay? You just, you know, train yourself and command yourself that I am not going to be controlled by this phone, okay? And then you are, uh, you know, stopping yourself uh, or you are now uh, not allowing, okay? Or you are, you are stopping, um, you know, outside world to influence and create a thought pattern in your, in your brain. Because when you, if you bombard your brain with so many things, whatever you are listening and reading, uh, you know, you are seeing. So these are all, these all get into our mind or brain and it creates certain uh, thought pattern. Okay, so that is, that is how, you know, our, our brain works. So you have to identify these, okay? So, and a very quick way of identifying these uh, negative, uh, you know, negative clutters, okay, is just looking at and uh, realizing your, your feeling. So if you have a feeling of, let's say, you know, you are stressful, you have a feeling of not feeling you are adequate or lower self-image or you don't want to, you feel like you don't uh, you are not capable of doing something. So these are all different kinds of thoughts. Okay, they, they, all these thoughts have an origin. Okay, so you just when you focus on the origin and you eliminate that, uh, uh, you know, uh, that limiting belief. Okay, then you are all set to, um, you know, grow in your path. Okay, so stop adding clutter. That means do not deliberately go look for these articles. Uh, these, uh, you know apps uh, you know uh, so that they gets you hooked on to them and and then you, it becomes very difficult for you to escape okay so after you add uh, after you stop adding uh, adding clutter okay then you identify your problem what what does that mean so that means you are not ident you are now identifying okay what are the thoughts okay um uh, i have now so that means if you have you want to have a clarity of thoughts so you just have to observe your thoughts and to observe your thoughts that means indirectly you have to observe your feelings okay so the thoughts are manifested uh, with with feelings uh, your emotions okay if you are not feeling good you are feeling fearful you are feeling uh, stressful um, uh, then what happened these are all bad feelings Okay, so you have to make sure that you identify your clutters by identifying these thought patterns, by identifying these feelings, and then once you identify, then you can, uh, you know, correct it. So this is where the most important bit of our, uh, you know, the tools or, you know, the process is, uh, you know, uh, journaling this. Okay, so journaling or writing it down when you are you are feeling depressed, you are you are feeling inadequate, okay? So that is a feeling, okay? And then you identify that feeling and right away you go and write it down, okay? So writing it down is extremely important. So you are identifying your clutter by journaling it, by observing first and journaling it to find out, okay? Every little small things, okay? You just journal it, the thoughts, 
kind of thoughts coming and uh, you know kind of feelings what we are getting so now you are journaling it okay and then is the time to fix it so so how do you fix it you uh, fix it by so these are the methods guys so you have to take a take a note of these uh, you know um, um, these uh, tools what you can use or the methodologies you can use okay now if you have a thought let me give you an example of your feeling uh, you know a bit of uh, your sense of uh, fear is there okay uh, let's say that fear is uh, coming for you know because the, every fear has has a reason okay um, so that fear is coming from let's say somebody treated you in a in a a uh, very different way which you did not like it so if um, you know you will have an interaction with that person again probably you know you may have the same thoughts so now you when you are writing it down okay that okay this is a thought is coming this is the um, this is the uh, feeling which i am getting so then is the time for writing it down and okay what is the corrective thought you need to have Okay, this is very important. That means you, when you identify, after you identify the problem, you just have to look for the solution. Okay, the corrective thoughts. Okay, let's take an example. You have a work colleague which is giving you a hard time and you are not getting on well and, uh, you know, or you have a, um, you know, kind of a, uh, one of your work colleague uh, is, uh, you know, um, always after you or your boss is giving you a hard time or whatever that is. Okay, now, after that, you write down what are the other feelings. Okay, you have a feeling that okay, my boss is doing this because you know this is this is what because I am not good or because I did certain things and all. So write it down. Uh, why do you think the way you are thinking? You always will find an answer there. So once you identify okay the answer, then okay is the time to fix it. So one way is, uh, you know, to uh, organize a declutter is mindfulness, uh, you know, breathing. Okay, so you are mindful of your breathing and you are, you know, breathing in, a, in and out slowly, you know, in, a, in a, a specific pattern. Okay, so that, that also declutters. Okay, that, that's a very uh, big tool or a very important tool. Then working out or walking, physical activities, you know, they do impact your brain, okay? The uh, endorphin, so they, they release a, a chemical called endorphin, okay? Which is a feel-good factor, okay? Uh, makes you feel good. So always, you know, if you want to declutter your mind, you want to, uh, you know, get the absolute focus, very, very important that you spend some time with yourself, okay? And that is where, you know, you are working out, uh, you know, you are, um, you know, going for a, for a long walk so that's what that plays in next thing is learn to say no what does that mean so that means uh, if you want to organize yourself and get yourself decluttered you have to learn how to say no to people okay who you uh, you know they may not be a part of your mission okay your dream okay so they have other plans and uh, other other formulas, but you should be, uh, you know, you should be selfish enough for your own uh, dream, okay, for uh, for not, uh, you know, uh, or you are selfish. You should be selfish for yourself so that you say no to the people, and uh, you know, uh, the uh, the people sometimes may take you for granted, okay. Uh, and uh, you know they may take advantage of you as well so when you say you learn to say no okay it may not be uh, you know a good feeling but it is always good so that you know the limit okay because all human beings all of us have limited bandwidth okay we have limited hours limited uh, capacity because we all work in different capacity uh, based on you know if you have a job you have a family you have uh, you know career goals you you know you are parents to your kids and you may be uh, kids to your parents you know you have different roles we play and that is the reason why it's very important that uh, you know very very much important that you should see or you should identify which are the requests what you are getting which are not in line with your 
desire, uh, uh, ambition, or your uh, what you want to accomplish, and then so say no to the you know those requests. And last but not the least is stop digital interruption. Okay, so when you start to declutter, the you start to organize and declutter yourself, and you are getting into the process, you will see that there will be multiple interruptions. What do I mean by interruption? Interruption. To give you an example that uh, let's take for an example you just sat down and you said okay i want to hammer it i want to get uh, you know the next half an hour i want to get this thing done and then guess, guess what, how, what happens your phone okay a, a notification comes with a you know uh, with a beep what do you do then you feel like just going and checking your uh, email or you are you feel like going and checking your um, you know facebook feed or uh, you know instagram post so this is where these are called the digital interruptions. Okay, so these interruptions, which were as the name suggests, okay, is interrupts you and stops you from uh, you know um, from the journey of uh, you know your uh, your journey to your destination, where what are the things you want to accomplish. Okay, so these digital interruption is uh, one of the main or one of the more uh, most important critical factor. Okay, which you do not realize, then you know the time will uh, just uh, pass, and from one post and checking one feed to another feed, you won't realize that you know half an hour, one hour, two hours has already passed. So it's very very important that you take. Uh, a note of these interruptions and understand it so that you can control it. Okay, so that I, we are done. But I'm really excited about all the, you know these uh, steps what we discussed today. Uh, you know, it goes hand in hand with uh, you know a stress level, and um, because when your mind is stressed, okay, it doesn't matter how much you want to focus, you may not be able to. So we'll discuss about. So this is a free ebook. You can download it. Uh, five quick, quick ways to clear your mind of stress. Okay, so that will definitely help you. These are the five quick ways to identify. You know what are the th these five things? What if you take care of, uh, you get hold of. Um, you know, then you can. Uh, live a stress-free life so that are quick five quick ways to clear your mind of stress so you won't be any more stress, stressful at all so okay so very very important these five steps so just download it it's completely free just download it following the link uh, given below and uh, you know um, uh, hope that you start taking those correct actions and become more productive uh, you know lesser stress in life and you have a clarity of vision and purpose in your life. Okay. So make sure you download this ebook. And with that, we are done and over and out until the next video. Bye.